Hey everyone, it's Adam here from Ads Productions and I'm going to show you how to create a streaming device with the Raspberry Pi 3. You're going to need a memory card, the Raspberry Pi 3 itself, a HDMI cable, the power cable, and you can throw in the Raspberry Pi enclosure if you want to. You don't have to, but I would if you're going to use this under your TV just to keep the dust out. We have to use the memory card to install an operating system onto it. The operating system that we're going to be installing is called Kodi. On top of Kodi is where we can add in the streaming add-ons, but I'll show you that in a minute. So the micro SD card goes in the SD card adapter in the front of the laptop. Then you want to go to a website called openelec.tv, that's O-P-E-N-E-L-E-C.tv. And when you're on this website, go to the download section at the top. And once you've clicked this, about three quarters way down the page, you will see a download link for the following. Raspberry Pi 2 and Pi 3 model B plus disk image. Make sure to download this and extract it to a place on your machine. Once you've downloaded and extracted this file, you're going to need to download a program called Win32 Disk Imager, or any other imaging software that you like to use. Run this software, find the SD card that you have inside your machine, and then browse to the file that we just downloaded, which is the image of the operating system, Load this image onto that SD card using Win32 Disk Imager. Press Run. It will now install the operating system onto this SD card so that we can plug it in the Raspberry Pi and use it for our streaming platform. OK, go ahead if you haven't already and take the Pi 3 out of the box. Remove it from the anti-static bag. And there it is, that's all the Raspberry Pi 3 is. So now we're going to connect the SD card that we've just put an image onto into the Raspberry Pi 3 itself. So it has some form of bootable operating system. Let's go ahead and put on that enclosure that we had at the beginning of the video. This will make the Pi look a bit more like a consumer product that belongs near your TV stand. Make sure the Raspberry Pi is then hooked up to a screen of your choice, whether it be your TV, a computer monitor like it is in this example. When you've connected the Pi, you should see the operating system on the screen booting. So we've got the OS installed, now let's show you how to actually get to streaming content. First of all, go to Videos and then go to Add-ons. Here are all the add-ons that I have installed for this example. These enable you to go to streaming sites and pull through streaming video for the TV shows and movies that you want. These add-ons must originate from somewhere. You can't just have this preloaded onto here because it's sort of a grey area in terms of legality. To actually source these add-ons, go to System, then File Manager. When you're in File Manager, you'll see the sources that I currently have installed on this box. If, for example, you see an add-on out there that you want, you must know the source for it. When you know the source, click on Add Source, type in the exact URL of this source. And when you press OK, it will go to that website and pull through all of the files necessary to install the add-on on the box. This means that Kodi, the operating system that we're using in this example, doesn't actually come with any pre-installed add-ons. You must source them yourself, and therefore it's up to you completely what you choose to do with your box because you could turn it into some sort of pirate box with you know, stealing all sorts of content. Again, I'm not for this, I'm just showing you an example of how this can be used and how it's being used by a lot of people. As you can see from my example, I added a URL, I pressed OK, I pressed Done, and then if we go back to the file manager, you'll be able to see the original source or the directory that you've imported, and this will enable you to then go to videos and add-ons and then see the add-ons within the add-on menu. It may seem a bit confusing, it's not really for the most basic user, but if you try this yourself, just with a couple of source changes and get the hang of it, it really doesn't take you long. I learned how to do this within about 20 minutes and I'm sure you'll be able to beat me on that time. If you have any questions about the Raspberry Pi or using it as a streaming device, please leave it as a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All links to do with this video such as application download locations, etc, etc, will all be in the description of the video. So if at any point you want to know where I got this from, where I got that from, 
check the description, it will be there. This has been Adam from Ads Productions, thank you very much for watching.